Good morning. Friday. Oh, and I'm glad to see that scaffold up and complete. Big old scaffold. It's like being in a football stadium, to be honest, once you're up and in there. Um, but yeah, we're on the bump out, getting everything prepped for Monday. Um, because at the minute it's a complete dead start. If there was Leon here as well, as well as me and Dean, I'd just be uh, chucking money away and uh, we wouldn't be able to just get on, all three of us just be bumping out. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get these, we've got one more pack of blocks to get up there. Um, we've just made a start already. But yeah, just getting it, everything prepped really. Gonna get all the blocks up there, get the spot boards up there, the stands, the insulation, wall ties, um, get the lintel up there for the window. Just everything we need to be up there, it's just in case of getting my comp down. Um, we can just all stay up there and crack on. But yeah, I'll uh, take you for a little tour in a minute. Right, so we're inside now, we've bumped out, as you can see, all the way round and down on the lower deck, piles of blocks, installations ready, boards are set up, and we're uh, going to be building on top of on top of this. That's down on that lower level corner. Reveal, so we have a lintel on top. Reveal up the other side. We've got one more course to put through there. Again, like I said back on one of the previous videos, the. Uh, window openings and heights and that on the drawings are a little bit all over the place. Um, I've scaled it on the drawing, I've done the drawing, but by the time they put their chipboard, carpet or whatever, you literally only got, you know, barely 450 to your windowsill. So we're making the decision to put another course, of, take that cut off, that cut off, put another cut, um, another course of block through there. Yeah, another course through there. And then uh, coming round, around the other side, we're still waiting on um, the steel detail and for the steel to be fitted um, basically down there you can see the brickwork there we've got to build on top of from two two lifts down uh, down on that lift we're going to lay over the top of that brickwork and over the top of that block work and all I've been able to do is rack it back for now if I come round here bird's eye view you see here I've racked down and then we're onto that brickwork <coughs> that block work is the internal wall inside where we did the pad detail um, back at the tail end of last week but waiting on a steel to be fitted in there um, before we can do any of that so that's pretty pointless for us so yeah all we've done it's just bumped everything out for now and it just means on Monday we can come up. We've got, I think it's three courses internally and externally um, on this. Uh, maybe four courses on the internal, depending on the angle of the pitch. Um, but yeah, we're all ready. So that's where we're at. All right, so that's us uh, <laughs> down on here now. It's a bit tight on the old access. You're literally two boards wide. Oh, me and Dean, I mean Leon's not here, but even Leon would struggle. But yeah, we're, that's our cavity wall. Let's see if we're all loaded out and ready. Mm, Scaffold's nice. nice, we've got six boards wide, so it is lovely to be fair. It's nice and comfortable. Insulation's up here. Pretty much all set. I've got the lintel up here for over the window. We've had a bit of a tidy up on site as well because over there it was like a car crash um, but yeah it's nice when you've got lots of room down there is all our mixing and mixing area more insulation covered up with more materials but yeah we're ready to rock right that's as far as we can get then everything's up here profiles are set up right it's where i've managed to clamp it all to the scaffold above so it's all clamped with timbers and then I've screwed into the underside of the scaffold boards. So it's all clamped. Internal clamp from Rhino build there. 
and uh, one of the other clamps from Rhino build the well, it goes through the bed joint and just hooks on and then once you've built the wall you can turn the little pronged this section nice and flat and just pull it through your bed joint um, yeah we're all clamped up again just screwed into the scaffold above so yeah roll on monday and we can crack on now whatever the weather which is the old tin room oh, good morning monday morning yeah i'm looking a bit fresh i've had my hair cut i had a beer trim and uh ready for the week basically jumped up this morning um been given a drawing by the client they've given us the plate height now so i had to get the laser back out and just mark up on that profile this profile top of plate and then i've allowed um just over two and a quarter inches um for the plate and the bed of the plate um and then i've had to allow for 18 mil chipboard on the floor and then that gives me the the figure to take to the top of my block work uh, works out basically three courses on this basically both skins all the way around we need to put the reinforced um that reinforced stuff that goes in the bed that's going to go in um got to take these cut that cut off we've got one more four course full course under this window um and obviously this reinforcing stuff that is then going to go in every course up the reveal so it's going to go up here all the way up to the lintel bearing height on either side of the window and this is all because of the lintel below not being heavy duty this is the spec now that the structural engineers come up with and uh, he wants this reinforcing in every bed so that's what we're going to do we've got some muck up here not this board but i've got that one and that one over there lines are up I'm gonna start running. Let's go. So that's it. End of play Monday. That's play height. Um, same as this here. Can't really go any further because the steel still is not here. Um, I've left it one course lower on the outside. This here is gonna be a gable. Um, we've run out of the reinforcing ladder that goes in the bed joint. So we've taken the decision to basically cut off um, because we're labour only. Pull off until more materials are here. We've literally got them blocks and them blocks as well. Um, but as it stands, plate height, one block lower, insulation's all in, come up, cut the course, reinforce it in the bed. And uh, yeah, that's basically as far as we can go for now so we are back here next monday now because then that gives client time to get the other steel in and, uh, and then we can come back here and hit it and get this gable on lintel on and start pulling that in over there so yeah we will catch you on this one next monday so yeah we're going on to a different job on Wednesday, I'm actually off tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, come Wednesday, we'll be on a different job. Good morning. You join me back on the, the Crowbra job, uh, the extension. Um, and Crowbra, basically, what we're doing now, way if I don't drop my phone, is oh, I jumped down. Awkward. So basically, scaffold hops up here. Um, the existing building returns there, roof's off. We are now laying our block work from the extension back into the house. Um, so what we're doing is those two stills have gone in. Oh, you can't see the second one, but the second one is in there. And obviously the one you can see here. So we're running over that. So I've put cut course through to marry up the steel and then the block work sending that through i've just racked up uh like a straight stop end corner there um i've had to brace it from the roof which you can see here running it in to 
over here and I've just sat it on top of the half brick or uh, half block on the very top put a little bit of weight on it because it is just flapping around in the wind um, so we're going to run this section from here now into there without hitting my head on here my head on now without falling down there and or down there and then that side falling down there um, but yeah it's all good fun so yeah it's a little bit awkward i'll put a picture on you'll be able to see a little bit more from back there Like we're in here under our tin lid because out there we wouldn't be doing nothing oh, i'm thankful for that tin up there so yeah we're here cracking on this side on the inside it's up it's got one there's three more on top of there but we're above the scaffold line now so gonna just run in we've got four cuts to put through here bring us through to that steel and then uh going to get this external up above this scaffold line and we're going to put these scaffold boards back jump up top and then run in to over there somewhere over there from up above from up above basically this is what we've pulled in today from here um, so the external and the internal so we was down below you can have the jump to and fro here to get over there tried to point it up and the fucking perp perp fell out so so wet it is so yeah all good fun it's been a bit of an obstacle course but we've done it and uh, just used the muck up on the front but Free on the internal, just a little bit in, ran out the muck. That now on there is a little white right for the window, but this end don't really matter at the minute. The main thing is we're getting that up, and now the roofers can crack on and get their pitch done. Right, so as you can see, we we're back at Crowbra. Oh, that front, we got the um, the front up now, the lintels on. I haven't actually got any footage of that bit but the um the last bit you just saw where i said i was running out the muck and uh just using up the last of the muck that was yesterday and now today we've just finished the front so the front is up now i've racked it up so you've got the the blocks coming up like this and form the window opening the lintels on um and i've been around the side and just blocked in a window as a little extra but now we are pulling off a Crowbra um, probably for a week or two weeks. Um, roofers are going in there early next week. And we won't be back there now until the roof is pitched. And it'll be a case of going back and just doing the cuts up that gable. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's basically us. Basically us done there. Um, there's a few extra bits inside the existing house that the client wants us to touch on. and um, But I'll pick that up in another video. But for now, that is Crowbra done. We will be back there in a couple of weeks just to do the cuts up the gable. And then that will be another job ticked off the list.